welcome to Tesla Super Destinations, where we review Tesla Supercharger and Destination Chargers for you. Today we're charging indoors at the Del Amo Fashion Center Supercharger in Torrance, California. Let's get charged up. Hello, this is Blue Leader and we're here at the Torrance Supercharger where they have a total of 20 superchargers in the parking structure of the Del Amo Fashion Center. Help charge up our momentum. Power hit the like button below. Before we give you our rating, let's hear what Tesla driver Sally has to say about this supercharger. Tell everybody your first name. Sally. Okay, Sally, have you supercharged here in Torrance before? I have. Now, can you tell us about the area? Uh, this is Torrance, California. This is the Delamo Mall. Um, we border Palos Verde, Lomita, and Redondo Beach as well. So some people consider this the beach cities community. And we're just south of LAX, maybe about 20 miles. What is there to do here or eat? To do and eat, you have plenty of choices of outdoor, indoor. I mean, really, whatever you want to do, walking distance from when you charge is available. I mean, Book Off has the dollars for books, CDs, um, anything that you're looking for. You've got Din Tai Fung, one of my favorites from the Lazy Dog Restaurant. You've got the AMC Theaters. Um, you've got all the major Nordstrom's, Macy's, pretty much everything that you want to do, massage, you can get it right here in walking distance. Um, across the street are hotels as well. And then if you just walk over the other side of the street, there's Benihana as well. Very good. Which is your favorite place to eat? You know, that's a tough one. I love food. I will have to say Din Tai Fung is an absolute must. There's a reason why there's a line and there's a reason why you will wait in that line. Uh, uh, any uh, favorite dishes at Din Tai Fung? Did I pronounce it right? Correct. Okay. Yep, Din Tai Fung, also known as DTF. You know, they're known for their dumplings. Um, even 30 years ago, people would wait an hour in the parking lot or more just to eat their food. Um, it's, if you have time, just go ahead and walk straight down. If you look through the glass mirrors, you can see how exquisite they make every dumpling. You can see how they flatten it, the dumplings that go in it. Um, it's so juicy that you just don't want to miss it. Excellent. Uh, is there anything else here in the area? Could you describe the character of the area? You know, Taurus has been known for many generations in regards to many generations live here. Um, people return to Torrance. It's, I want to say easy living, it's safe. I think it's a family community. Um, even if you didn't have a Tesla, I'd say come out and visit just to see what it's like. One full star for chargers, 20 of them, at 250 kV, 24 seven. Half a star for bathrooms, they're about 876 feet away, next to Forever 21. One full star for safety, well-lit indoor parking. One full star for food and beverage, there are restaurants, mall food, juice, and coffee. One full star for cool factor, indoor parking plus a three-story shopping mall equals cool, cool, cool for Tesla drivers. The Torrance California Supercharger gets a 4.5 TSD rating. If you made it this far, subscribe to our content so we can get a little more push to energize your journey. Non-rated noteworthy mentions, lots of ways to get there, but you can take the 405 freeway, it's 3.3 miles away, the Dondo Beach Boulevard exit. We know outdoor mall design styles have been in for decades, but nothing beats an air-conditioned indoor three-story mall where the sun doesn't have to beat you down. Hey, besides Billy Bob Thornton's Bad Santa being filmed here, Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown was filmed here also. Teriyaki donut, anyone? Let's give our guest Sally another listen. Do you like or love your Tesla? I absolutely love my Tesla. I cannot and will not drive anything else. How come you love your Tesla? So prior, I had a Toyota Prius, which is a great car as well. It was um, somebody that I know has a Tesla. And my first experience with a Tesla. And 
when I watched how the software upgrades, I mean, from the year that he bought it, within a year, the car was making lane changes on its own. Did you give your Tesla a name? I did. How did you know? So my car is named Casey. Casey. Uh, yeah. uh, how do you spell? K and a, a C? or Correct. So pretty much a lot of things that I do, it's Casey. Even though my name is Sally, I identify with Casey. So Casey has many meanings. My oldest child is Katie. My second child, I should say my third child is Christian. We did have an unborn child whose name was KC. But at the same time, this is KC, and so it's actually kid's car. It's my kid's car, so my car is named KC. And I identify with the name as well. Excellent, beautiful tribute there. Um, some people think Tesla drivers are nerds. What do you think about that statement? Oh my gosh, do you look at me, do I look like a nerd? I know, I, my hair is probably not brushed, he caught me, I didn't know I was going to be on camera today, but hey, if you look at me and you think I'm a nerd, then maybe it's true, but you know what, I'd rather be a nerd and have a Tesla than not. Any final words of wisdom to anyone coming to Supercharge and Torrance at the Del Amo Fashion Center? Oh, absolutely. I love this charger because of the speed, but even more so, there is always a charger waiting for me. It doesn't matter what time of day, it doesn't matter... It, it just, you know, to have a charger waiting for you is such a nice feeling. Very good. Thank you so much, Sally. Say bye. Bye. Congrats, you made it to the end. Comment your electric thoughts and share with your circle of trust. Thanks for letting us supercharge your Tesla destination. Until we meet again.